Morning, everyone. Welcome to this episode of the Path to One Million. This is episode 111. The other day, my body was aching. It was hurting. It was begging me to stop. It seemed like every step that I was taking uh, was just more agonizing. Uh, my side was really hurting. You know, my body was saying, please stop, please stop, please stop. And the only thing I said was Michael Jordan had the flu. About six weeks ago, I committed to do this 25 by 5K challenge, which is you run 25 5Ks, you know, 25 days in a row. Um, did I come out right? 25 days in a row, run 5K every day. Anyways, that was my plan. And so what I did is I looked up uh, 5K training plans online because I knew that if I just went out there, because uh, I am uh, getting up there in years, believe it or not, so I looked at these training plans online and it walked me through uh, these plans where it was like, for instance, you would walk for, or, I'm sorry, you would run for five minutes and then walk for two minutes, run for five, walk for two. And it was just to condition your body to get running. And these plans are called couch to 5K, right? If you're sitting there on the couch eating Cheetos, within six weeks, you can supposedly run a 5K, which was, you know, my, uh, my plan. I executed this training plan. It was over a period of four weeks. I was doing everything that I should. There was like a rest day built in, so I would run. Uh, then the next day I would take a rest day. And every time, every, every time that I would go out and run a 5K, the time for running got a little bit longer. So for instance, one time it was five minutes and the next time it was eight minutes. And then the next time it was 10 minutes and then it would go down to nine minutes and then it would go to 12 minutes. And, and it would repeat these cycles until like the very end where I ran for 15 minutes, walked for one minute, and then ran for 15, walked for one. That, that to me was like a, was a 5K run. At the end, when I measured the, different, the distance and I looked on my little app on my phone, it said, you know, that I had run 5K. I was very excited about that. But the thing is, I want to run a 5K without stopping. That was my whole plan. So the very last training day was run for 15 minutes, and walk for two. So now it's September. Actually, it's September, I believe it was September 3rd, this last Tuesday, anyways, was like the first day that I was actually going to officially start the 25 by 5k challenge. I got out there and I started running and I made it past the 1.5 mile mark, which is about 15 minutes of running, which is the most I had run in any length of uh, any length of time during my training. So that I knew that any, any every point from here on was going to be like a new little personal record for me. I went, I ran the 1.5 and then I made it to two miles, which I was very happy about. And then when I got to the 2.5 mile marker, uh, you know, my body was aching. My side was hurting. It was like, let's stop, let's stop, let's stop. And I reasoned in my head. I'm like, you know what, Cliff, the last time you ran, you ran 1.5 miles you are now at two miles, you're approaching 2.5 miles. Maybe at 2.5 miles, you could just walk for like a minute or two, just give your body a break and then move on rather than pound through all three miles, right? So that was, that was a deal I made with myself. I negotiated with myself and I said, I'll make it to 2.5 miles and I'll stop. So I make it to the 2.5 mile marker and my body is aching and I stop and I walk for about a minute and I'm you know gasping for air. And the minute turned into about a minute 20. I said, you know what? This is stupid. I said I was going to do it for a minute. Now I'm at a minute 20. I got to go. So I hit the timer and I started running again and I finished the 5K. And I remember thinking to myself, you know, Cliff, you got to be proud because, you know, you did run 2.5 miles. The time before that, you ran 1.5 miles. But throughout the day, I kind of had this feeling like I failed, right? Because it was a 25 by 5K challenge. I wanted to run the full 5K. But I didn't because, you know, like I, I negotiated with myself, you know, what can I, you know, I'll stop at 2.5 and I felt really bad. But then my brain was like, well, you know, Cliff, you're getting older, you know, and, uh, you know, maybe you should take it a little bit easy. So the next day that I get out there and run, I'm like, you know what? Yesterday I ran 2.5 miles. Today I'm going to run 2.75 miles. So I'm going to push myself a little bit more and then I'll go three and then I'll go 3.25, which is about 5K run. So I get out there and I run and I make it to the 2.5 mark and my body is screaming, we need to stop. You know, I'm hurting, I'm sore, the legs feel funny, got this ache in my side and I make it to 2.75 miles and I stop running and 
I take another minute break. Now, when I start running again, it's like my body is going into full on revolt. Like I can't get my legs to move. It was like really hard to move forward. And I'm just thinking to myself, man, what is going on with me? So I'd managed to finish the, the three, the, the five mile, uh, the five K run, excuse me. And I get done and I'm walking up the stairs and I'm walking towards my car. And once again, I get this feeling like I failed, right? Cause I really did. I really did want to, I really did want to run the entire 5k. The next day I remembered that, that my plan was that I was going to go ahead and I was going to run three miles, right? So I was just going to, I was going to push it again, run three miles, get me that much closer to the 5k. But man, for some reason, just internally, I just feel like I wasn't like delivering, right? This isn't, this isn't what I wanted to do. This isn't the goal that I wanted to set. And I, I don't know if it's fate. I don't know if it's destiny. I don't know if it's dumb luck. Uh, if, I don't know, you know what you might believe, but I was preparing to do my Facebook Live in the morning and this video popped up and it was called Michael Jordan Had the Flu. And so I'm watching this video and you know take a trip back in time. It's 1997, the Chicago Bulls are dominating the NBA. Michael Jordan probably would be one of the best a basketball players ever to live. Uh, he is just basically just running the court, managing the court, and they are a force to be reckoned with. 1997, they're going for the NBA Finals. The championship is on the line. They're playing against the Utah Jazz, and they're tied at two games apiece. They're going into game five. The day of the game, Michael Jordan has the flu, right? That's what they broadcast all over TV. He's got a 103 degree temperature, he is sick, he's severely dehydrated, but in spite of all of that, he goes out and he plays the game. And not only does he play the game, but he manages to score like 38 points of the game. And he had all these assists and rebounds and he was just setting you know, all these you know, personal records that particular day. But he powered through whatever made him sick and come to find out later on, they revealed that he actually had food poisoning. Uh, so that was part of the temperature thing, part of the uh, part of the sickness that he had. And, you know, I've had the flu. Uh, I've had the worst case of food poisoning ever that I think uh, a human being could have. So I know that when I was sick or whatever, I mean, and I don't do anything. I just lay on the couch and I just take it easy. But this guy here, I started thinking about it and I'm like, you know what? This is the guy here who, you know, he's got two eyes. He's got two lungs. He's got a heart. He's got legs. He's got arms. He's got a brain. He's got, you know, everything that I've got, he's got. But the only thing that's different that he's got is his mindset. And his mindset was like, you know what? I am gonna show up and I am going to win. I'm gonna play my best. I'm gonna put it out there on the field. So now I get ready to do my next run, the run that I negotiated with my body and said, I'm going to run the three miles. So I get out there and I run the 2.7 miles and sure enough, my body's in full on revolt. My legs don't wanna run. My side is hurting. My stomach is aching, you know, and I'm just, I, I, I feel dehydrated. I, I just, I, I don't feel like I can move on, whatever it is. And the three mile marker comes on and my body goes, yay, we get to stop, we get to stop. And we get to the three mile marker and I keep right on going. I do not stop. And now my body's like, what? You, you were supposed to stop back there. Wait a minute, this is what we negotiated. And I said, Michael Jordan had the flu. I run a little bit longer. My body's like screaming like crazy and my side is aching. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. And my body's like, hey, you know, we're gonna throw up right here on the sidewalk. Do you everybody wanna see that? And I just said, Michael Jordan had the flu. Every single time that my body went into full-on revolt during that run, all I said was Michael Jordan had the flu. And I kept going. And the next thing you know, after I sailed past that three mile marker, there was the 3.25 marker that was coming up. And that gave me even more incentive. And my body was like, please stop. We can do this tomorrow. You don't have to push yourself. And I said, Michael Jordan had the flu. Every single time, Michael Jordan had the flu. And of course I crossed the 3.25 mile marker and I kept running. I ran for about an extra hundred feet just to make sure that I had crossed that marker, but I had run that extra hundred feet. And I just kept saying, Michael Jordan had flu. Michael Jordan had a flu. Michael Jordan had a flu. Boom. And I did it. So always in life, it seems to me that, that getting started is never the hard part. It's always that commitment to finish what it is that you've started and to see yourself through, especially through the tough times and when things get really difficult. And especially with my body exercises, that's always been my toughest because I've never absolutely been athletic. But at the end of the day, you, you have to, I, I have to find something inside of me that I can hang on to, that I can cling on to, that I can draw strength from, 
where I can actually say to myself, you know what, I'm not gonna negotiate myself into a lesser position because I deserve more, because I'm earning whatever it is that I'm doing. And in this case, I ran the full 5K without stopping. That alone, that victory right there, framed me out for the rest of the day. I, I was just absolutely unstoppable. I was unbeatable. Bad news raining down on me. I did not care because I accomplished that goal. And everything that came along, my brain was set. Anyways, just wanted to share that with you today. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. I'll be back again tomorrow with another story. And I will see you then.